Hey, welcome back, everybody. Just rolling through hour two here on the Fan Sports Network. It's the Drive Show today, brought to you by our friends at Prime IV. Go get the Revitalizer. That's my favorite. Twice a month, baby. Twice a month. Just say, hey, I want what Devin gets. It's the Revitalizer. Help you increase your energy. Help you with your athletic performance, your recovery, and new patients. $79 at Prime IV. Give them a call. Tell them you want what Devin gets. 435-522-5005. It is back in the STG D1 Dream Camp this Friday and Saturday. We got guests rolling in here to talk about it. We got a Utah Tech quarterback, former Dixie Flyer Reggie Graff, and we've got Todd and Stacia Mizukawa, who are instrumental in helping put this whole thing together and uh, this is this is going to be Friday, Saturday for grades, what, third grade all the way through 12th grade. There's sessions for the younger kids and sessions for the older kids. And, Reg, were you a part of this last year? I was not. So first time or greeny, huh? Yeah, I'm going to love it. I'm really excited to work with the kids. You, I, uh, you, you've you been going out to the park and practicing, just getting a little pickup game of seven on seven going with the neighborhood kids just to get <laughs> loosened up or what? I guess so. No, I, I do some private sessions with some kids, so it's fun to work you know, with the local kids, some of those quarterbacks. But I also did a camp a couple of weeks ago with just a bunch of other kids that, I don't know, it's fun to see all these little kids working and just getting better. Todd, you guys, this is the second year here in St. George. Yep. It's growing. I mean, you guys had a great turnout from what I understand last year, and this year you're hoping for even more kids in Southern Utah yeah, turning we out? Had, we had an amazing turnout last year. Uh, I think all the kids had a great experience, and, yeah, we're looking to be bigger and better this year. The list of athletes, Stacia, that you've got coming in, I know you help with that, and you kind of coordinate a lot of that. And you sent me the list, um, you know, a week ago or so, and I was like, holy cow, you got some big names coming into St. George. Yeah, we are so excited to be able to, like last year it just started with BYU players that mm -hmm. are coming to coach, and we thought, no, it's D1. We need to open it up. And so now we've got Utah Tech and ASU and Tennessee and – SUU and Utah State, like we've got everybody coming from everywhere. And it's such an opportunity for these kids to be able to ball out on the field yeah. and to get the recognition that they've been wanting in our little small town. And it's an awesome opportunity for these kids. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the list goes on. We had Jacob Conover on the show yesterday. Uh, BYU went in the portal, now at ASU, fighting for a starting job down there. Of course, big time with Reggie Graff in the studio right now. What, what, you're going to be, you and Jacob, they're probably another quarterback. There's three quarterbacks, I think, coming. And so you're Kate yeah, Finnegan, who's at BYU. Yep. Yeah, so you get three quarterbacks. So I'm assuming you're going to be working mostly with the quarterbacks. You're Absolutely. not going to be working with the line, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you got some drills in mind, or you guys got a plan ready for these kids? Yeah, I think it's just super cool that, I mean, we're going to have three different college quarterbacks from different universities that have all done different drills. And to be able to see, you know, these different drills that we run in college uh, for these kids to run, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you, you know, the, uh, the camp, if you go to D one dreamcamp.com, you can get signed up. I think you save a little money. Uh, you can walk up or do day of re registration on Friday, but it'll cost you a little bit more. So if any parents out there, uh, the list is, is amazing. Um, what, 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 uh, what's your thoughts on spring camp? Let's talk a little Utah tech football while we got you here, Reggie. I, I went down there and it looked like you had a really good red white game. I saw you feathering the deep passes, hitting some of the underneath stuff. Looked like you had a good, good spring football game. No, I felt like I did really well just throughout the spring. I felt like I improved a lot. Uh, it was really the first time I got an opportunity to show myself for the year that I've been here. So uh, I really I really had fun with it. And I think all the QBs did really well. I don't think anyone really stood out. I think it's going to be a good competition all the way through fall camp as well. Yeah, it's, it's good to have a competitive quarterback room, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you know, we, we've seen a lot of guys go down. Next guy has to step up. We've... We, we've been deep into that quarterback room, you know, season to season the last th three years. You never know when you're, you're going to be called upon, but it looks like you're kind of in a three-man race to try to get some reps. I mean, it looks like you and Boone and, and Kobe are, are kind of the top three in the pecking order. I know the freshman from Florida came in and had a decent spring camp as well. Yeah, I think all four of us, you know, had to have a chance if we keep getting better. So I think obviously, you know, Kobe's um, had the experience. Uh, Boone's very good as well, super good athlete. Um, I think I showed that, you know, I can compete as well. And then, obviously, uh, the freshman, Connor, uh, he's he's got a little bit of, a little bit to work on, but I was very impressed with how well he was able to come in and pick up the offense, how quickly he did, and uh, he showed a lot of good, too. What, what's the biggest 
transition like for for kids that you're going to be coaching at the D1 Dream Camp, and and now that you're you know going into year two as a college quarterback, what what's that jump like? I know that everybody says the game's faster, but what else? I think along with the faster, you know, everyone is a D1 athlete. Everyone was the best at their high school. You know, in high school, you can kind of get away with just being a good athlete. Um, but I think the difference is just the knowledge of the game and being able to uh, really put forth, you know, the mental time into it. Um, you know, because everyone can make a play. Everyone can make the throw. Uh, but it's making the right throw at the right time. And so I think it's a lot more, you know, hey, I, I know the game and I can play it that way. I was talking with your head coach, Paul Peterson, at the red-white game, and he said, you know, Re Reggie didn't have every throw covered, but he's starting to get to where he can now make every throw. What, what, when I, and I didn't know exactly what that meant. You probably know exactly what that means, though. What, yeah. what is Coach saying? When he, is, is it the deep the deep routes? Is the underneath? Is, what, what, what routes were you struggling with that now you're making? I think it was more, you know, going on a mission for two years. I lost a lot of my arm strength. I didn't, I didn't have the strongest arm in high school either. Um, and so it was... You know, over the over the winter, over the spring, was really working on my arm strength and accuracy, and I think now that I can trust my arm to make some of those throws, uh, which is you know super beneficial. And obviously, I'm still working to get it better because I think all of us in the QB room are, are looking to be better, more accurate, whatever it is. What's the plans for the the summer? I mean, how do you stay sharp? I mean, you're in the weight room. You're probably getting together with some of your receivers and working outside of practice, right, during the dead time. What, what's the plan? Yeah, I mean, like right after this, we're heading over to the field to throw and then obviously working out, getting conditioning in. Um, but I think it's going to be huge that, you know, I'm staying in the film room and learning the game more and more and more. I think that's what's going to kind of separate, you know, those that during the summer, some kind of lax or a little lax and then they, you know, lose what they what they gained in the spring. So just trying to keep up with what I learned. Uh, you're, you, you know, you were probably growing up going to these camps just like this one, and now you're coaching at one of these camps. What goes through your mind when I say that? I think it's a pretty cool opportunity. Um, and being able to show these kids, like, hey, you, you can make it as well. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to have a lot of good athletes. I'm excited to see, you know, what kids we got out here. Um, but I think, you know, it's just a fun opportunity to be able to help these kids uh, see the potential that they have. I love it. Uh, Todd, let's talk a little bit more about you know, the camp, where it's at right now, what direction you guys plan on taking this in the future. I mean, you got one here in St. George this weekend, and then you got another one later this month up north. Yeah, actually just next week up at, up at Mountain View High School in, in Orem. Um, it, it started really organically. Um, Stacia reached out to Jackson Kafusi about coming down and, and doing a, a little clinic for just the Desert Hills uh, youth football players and uh, – it kind of snowballed from there, got the backing of all poly sports, and, and so it, it blew up, and we had close to 200 kids last year, I believe. And so we're looking for at least that this year. Um, the thing for me, I was listening to a podcast, a Bronco Mendenhall's pon podcast yesterday, and, and he said the thing about football, it, it all comes down to the relationships. And these kids get to come out. They get to rub shoulders. They get to fist bump. They get to chest bump with – these D1 athletes and, and talk to them and understand that they're just normal kids. They're just, they're normal people that are extremely good at football. And, and, and they are normal. The, the kids right now are normal kids, but some of those will be really good at football and have the opportunity to do the things that the, the coaches will, will, will be showing them. And, and last year we had Cyrus Polu um, over at Desert Hills. He was coming off his freshman year. Um, he was working out with uh, with the linebackers and, and the receivers, caught the eye of, of, of some of the, the BYU kids, and they went back. And, and the really cool story about that is Cyrus went up to BYU's camp later that summer, and uh, and Keenan, Keenan, we were up there, and Keenan Peliax came to me and said, hey, we're going to offer him this afternoon, and he said, the coach is going to let me do it. Really? And so – and so – Keenan actually got to be there with with uh, with the coaches as, as he offered Cyrus and and obviously Cyrus has, has has blossomed from there, but but on the other on the flip side there are two coaches from last year's D1 Dream Camp that are currently in rookie mini camps. Um, D'Angelo Mandel, who is a defensive back at, at at BYU, is 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 down in Dallas, and Peyton Wilgar, Peyton Wilgar is with the Chiefs right now, and so it, it's that next 
we're bringing those kids to the next step, but they're seeing these these D1 athletes who are also working to take that next step. And it's just, it's the dream. It's the dream. Is this the most coaches you guys have ever had? I mean, you've got Cade Finnegan, BYU, Reggie Grapp, who's with us here in the studio, Jacob Conover, Mason Fakahua, Malachi Fakahua, Peter Falanico, Big Pete, yep. Big former Pete. Pineview Panther, going to be helping out, Talmadge Gunther, uh, Daniel Thomason, a uh, young uh, up-and-coming receiver at Utah Tech. Reggie could probably tell you more about him than I can. Uh, Hobbs Nyberg will be at the camp. Uh, you got uh, Malika Kafusi, Ace Kafusi, Ammon Hanneman, Tavita Gagner. Um, the list keeps going on. Tana Tanavasa from Drake Baca, who, uh, I mean, the, the list is Keenan, Keenan Peely's going to be here too. Keenan's trying to get out here. Yep. From he, Tennessee. I from know. Tennessee. We are so stoked. He is actually pulling some serious strings to get off of. Like, he is legit down there, man. They've got him on an eating program and he has to get excused from eating or something. I don't know. The but... SEC is a different world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, he's trying to make it happen. He's so... a grad transfer, right? He is a grad mm-hmm. transfer. So yeah. he's playing his extra year, went yep. to Tennessee to play for the volunteers. Yep. Yep. And, and and he's one that, that if, if he goes out there and shows out with Tennessee, he'll he'll be in a in a yep. rookie mini camp this time next year as yep. well. Yeah. So it's great stuff. Uh the the d- d- details for our listeners, uh Registration's open, d1dreamcamp.com. People can just go to the website, right? Yep, they can just go to the website. And I think it's really important, too, to point out that I know everybody may be a little bit panicked about seven-on-sevens and stuff like that that's happening on Saturday. We specifically arranged it to where it doesn't conflict with seven-on-sevens. So all of the older camps or all campers are actually in the morning because their games for sevens are in the afternoon and vice versa for the younger camps. And so don't let that hold you back. Come out. You know, just take the opportunity. I, th- I think windows open, windows closed, and this is one of those windows that you just got to jump through, I think. Yeah, I love it. Reg will be there coaching them up, right, Reg? Absolutely. I love it. Reggie Graff, uh, Todd and Stace, Mizukawa, we had a lot of fun having you guys on the show. And uh, parents, uh, spread the word. Uh, check them out on social media, on Facebook, Instagram. They're all over the place, D1 Dream Camp. And get your kids signed up. What is it, 100 bucks, 100, 120 bucks? How much is it? I think it's 130 or something like that. 130 yeah. for, for that's Friday night and Saturday. So, yep. And, and we just gave the list of coaches. I mean, you got these college athletes coming yep. in. This is this is a great camp. And it's an awesome way to be able to support these college athletes too. So, I mean, it's just a win-win all the way around, and it's such a good opportunity for our Southern Utah people. So. And a lot of camps don't do the combine skill stuff. Yeah. And that's going to be part of this camp, which yep. I think is really cool. You you get timed in the 40. You can do all the different yep. combine drills, which I think kids will love. They'll kind of have a measuring point. Okay, I'm in eighth grade. Here's my times. Where can I get by my freshman, my sophomore, and all the way through my yep. senior year? Yep. So Tace actually has his combine card from last year. He's got up, and he's like, that. you know, that's his goal. He just wants to beat get his better. times and get better, and that's what it's all about. So I love it. I love it. What's the 40 dash at, buddy? What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out this weekend, huh? All right. I want to picture that card after it's done. I want a comparison. Side by side, we'll see what the improvement is. Um yeah, we love it. Reg, thanks for coming in, man. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having us. Have a great summer, and we'll see you in the fall for uh, Utah Tech and uh, on the field. I mean, Montana, Montana State, the first two weeks of the season. Let's go, huh? Yeah, we've got some big games. I'm excited. The, yeah, you look at the schedule, and there's no gimme there with this new merger and the new conference for football. What, what's the buzz around the players for that? I think it's an exciting time. I think it's going to be a lot of travel, but I think that's going to be a fun part about this this season. Obviously, we've got seven away games, only four home games. Um, so we're going to be traveling a lot, but some new places that, you know, a lot of these, I mean, I've never been to. So it's going to be fun for us. And obviously, we've got some really good games, Yeah, especially those first four or five. So I love it. You got a couple of your teammates helping out for the, the camp, too. Are they all pumped up to help out this weekend? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think we got what Malachi Fakahua, yeah. uh, Daniel Thomason. Um, Tonavesa. Tonavasa. Yeah. Vasa, I said it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but i think they're all really excited for it <laughs> yeah reggie graff the mizikawas you guys are doing an awesome job and uh parents get your kids sign up d1dreamcamp.com we'll take the break we'll be right back on the fan sports network